Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Joanne. If you're new here, welcome. On this channel, I like to put out lifestyle content, travel content, whether it be in New York City or out in the world, experiences that I've had. So if you're into any of that, please subscribe to the channel. I post videos every week. So I hope you can come back every week and watch my videos. And on today's video, I'll be sharing my experience working in New York City's co-working space, The Wing. When I'm working on my personal stuff like YouTube, my writing, uh, I usually work out of my tiny little apartment here in New York City, but I get a lot of distractions. One, it's really loud, so if you watch any of my videos, you'll always hear some siren driving by, or I hear my neighbors screaming and yelling and doing all sorts of things a private plane heading to New Mexico and he's like not feeling well so he goes to the back hey, welcome to today's video if you're new here welcome and all of that can be very distracting where you when you're trying to work and be productive and I receive a day pass through my email to work at one of their locations the one at Bryan Park the wing at Bryan Park and no, this is not a sponsored video. I signed up for, I had, I previously thought of joining way before the pandemic and I had, I somehow joined their mailing list. So they sent me a, a questionnaire to fill out because uh, they were trying to, they were working on setting new prices for their membership. So they were asking everybody on their mailing list um, for their opinions. So I filled it out and then as my reward, they gave me a day pass for doing the questionnaire. If you're not familiar with The Wing, they are a co-working space here in New York City. They were originally a woman-only co-working space, but after the pandemic, they were sold and rebranded after a lot of backlash and some internal drama. The Wing opened its doors in 2016. It was supposed to be this beautiful decorated space with high-end toiletries and an in-house cafe. It promised live events and networking opportunities for women. Some people refer to it as a feminist utopia. The Wing has several different memberships from $95 a month where you can go and work at one of their locations four to five times a month to $295 a month, which is unlimited visits and you can work at any other locations. Or you can just do a day pass for $35. They have three locations in New York City. There's one in Chicago, one in San Francisco, one in West Hollywood, and I believe there might be one in DC, I think. So for today's video, I spent the day at their Bryant Park location. And I also went to an event that they had at their Soho location where it was like a mini market. It was a pop-up shop full of women-owned businesses. Before I show you guys what it was like to work at The Wing, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified next time I post a video. All right, let's head over to The Wing. I'm on my way to The Wing at Bryant Park. I have some editing, some writing to do, and some other stuff. So I'm going to spend my day there just doing some work and see how it is. I spent about six hours at the Bryant Park location. It is a beautiful and quiet space with a cafe that offers unlimited coffee or tea. They do have light snacks like yogurt and sandwiches. Uh, so for lunch, I just ordered food nearby and had it delivered. I got some coffee and I went into one of their rooms, which was empty, so I had it all to myself. My favorite part of this location was their bathroom area. It has a private room for new moms to have privacy while they're breast pumping. And their beauty room had the best lighting. They also have showers in case you need to use them. I also really love their library. All the books are color coordinated and organized. 
Although they do not lend them out, you are able to grab a book and read while you're there. On a different date, I attended a woman-owned pop-up shop at their Soho location. Their Soho location was a bit bigger than their Bryant Park location. The rooms are all beautifully decorated and they even had a community board for their clients to post their services. Overall, I did enjoy my time working at The Wing. It was a very uh, aesthetically pleasing place full of great amenities. My favorite part was their foam boots, their soundproof foam boots which are all named after different icons, female icons of television, film, etc. You can just go in and lock yourself in one of the booths if you have like an interview or some sort of meeting on Zoom and you won't be uh, interrupted by any sounds or sirens driving by. I personally think it would be a good investment if you have the budget to rent a space or like uh, the budget to just pay $2.95 and go work there. If you're a freelancer, let's say, and you live with like five or four roommates, or look, you hear that? Or you live in a loud neighborhood. I think it would be a great investment to just go work from the wing and get your work done in silence and in peace. Plus they have so many great events throughout the, the week, throughout the month. You actually don't have to be a member to attend their events. If you sign up for their mailing list, they'll send you all the events and you could just sign up if you want to go. That's what I did. Like, I'm not a member, but I signed up for their women-owned, their pop-up shop for with women-owned businesses. And I went and I met a lot of cool people and, a lot of, and I supported a lot of great businesses. So you don't have to be a member to go to the events. And that was my experience working out of the wing out here in New York City. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I post videos every week. And here are my socials. If you want to get social with me, say hi on Instagram, say hi on Twitter. I'm really active on both of them. And until next time, see you next week for my next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. So, uh, come back next week for my next The Wing. Comment down below and tell me where you're from. Well, okay, this is the one.